Hi, my name is Frank Lamont. I'm going to show you the ultimate way for trimming out a logo and putting it onto a transparent background. So let's get started. I'm going to hit Command A to select my whole entire image. I'm going to hit Command C to copy my image. I'm going to go over to my Channels tab. I'm going to add a new channel here by hitting the plus symbol at the bottom. This adds a new alpha channel. I'm going to paste my logo into that alpha channel and then I'm going to hit Command I to invert my channel. And what inverting does is it changes white to black and black to white. Now my whole outcome is to change my whole entire logo to white and have my background to be black. And to do that I'm going to use levels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command L to launch the levels. And what levels does is it sets the luminance value of an image. It also has these eyedroppers. And these eyedroppers, this one on the right sets the, the white point and this other one sets the black point. So if I hit the white point and I hit something dark on my image, it changes it all to white. Now the only problem about doing it to the darkest and do it in all in one shot is you get this stair step level here. You get this stair step level here that really is not the desired effect. So what I want to do is I want to isolate all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lasso tool and I'm going to hold the option key down which creates straight lines for me and I'm going to select those things that have the same luminance value. Like these two have pretty close luminance value. So I'm going to hit Command L for my levels. I'm going to do the white uh, eyedropper. I'm going to crush the levels by pushing this level to the left a little bit. And this makes sure that if there's any kind of noise in here that I'm really catching all of it and making 100% white. Then what I want to do is do the same thing over and over again and I'm going to choose these three over this direction because I feel like these are pretty close and I don't think the variance is going to matter a whole lot. So I take those, hit Command L. Now this is the darkest, so you always want to pick the darkest one. So I'm going to hit the white, hit the darkest. I'm going to crush the levels all the way to the edge of the highest peak. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do it to the last one. And you're going to see really quickly here that we have our mask almost complete. Crush the level a little bit. Okay. And now we're done as far as creating the mask. However, the challenge is I'm on white and my mask isn't perfect. And then what's going to happen is it's going to catch this kind of like different variants here and it's going to catch some of these white pixels. I don't want it to do that. So my outcome is to create fills all the way around all of these that go outside the outer boundaries. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, lasso tool again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the eyedropper by hitting I and I'm going to click on the color. I'm going to hit delete which is I'm going to hit option delete sorry and fill it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on doing I'm going to get my lasso by hitting L I'm going to uh, get my lasso and I'm going to lasso the yellow here. Okay, I'm going to hit uh, I uh, for my eyedropper and then I'm going to hit Option Delete to fill. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep on doing this over and over and over again to where my image is totally selected. And what I want to do is I just want to stay towards the middle of any of this and once again hit the I for the eyedropper hit Option Delete to fill and I'm going to do this for the rest and I'll come back in just a minute. Okay, now I'm finished doing all of my fills. Now the last thing that I have to do is I go down to my alpha channel here and I'm going to go to the little icon and I'm going to hit the command key and I'm going to click on the icon. And when I do it creates a selected area around all of my logo around my mask. So the only thing I have to do now is I hit Command C to copy it, I hit Command V to paste it and I just delete the last boundary. Now if any of this by chance is still transparent for some reason, let's say you can see the, the pattern in the background through your image, then what you could do is you could just uh, drop a couple of these on top of each other and then merge them down together as one. That'll solve that problem if you should have not have maybe uh, crushed the white levels enough. And hopefully that uh, tutorial helped. Please subscribe to my channel and hit like. Thanks.